What's going on everybody, Cigar Show Tim here. And not too long ago, I was down at an event hosted by Stone Brewing Company that was put on in conjunction with New Air. I've done some posts and shown a little bit about this as a teaser, but I'm here to tell you now about the 125 can frosty beer can refrigerator from New Air. And well, let me tell you, this thing has some pretty cool features. Let's check it out. All right, so let's get into it. This, like I said, is the New Air collaboration with Stone Brewing 125 count frosty beer can refrigerator. And let me tell you, I've had this plugged in here in my studio for about a week and a half now, been checking it out, playing with the settings. Where do I like it? Is there, you know, a feature that I wish it had? Is there anything that's like, oh, you know, maybe it doesn't, you know, do that so well. And I gotta tell you, this thing is impressive. So as you can see, I, if you can see through the glass there, stocked it up with some Stone Brewing Company choice beverages. When you open the door, the light automatically comes on. Absolutely love that about this unit. So let me close it. And you can see through the glass, it's double pane glass, works really well. And a little bit of fog does build up when you open the door, but honestly within about 45 seconds, if that, of closing the door, it's all clear again, ready to see. But you can see clearly through it, Right here, let me go through the features and sort of the, the functions or the buttons on it. Uh, they're all touchscreen um, functions. So here there's a light and I like this light because unlike other humidors and things like that, you can't see all the way through down to the bottom, whether it's up here, further down in the fridge, any place where your beverage is, you can clearly see what it is you've got staying nice and cooled. So we've got the light there. And then if I turn that off and then next to it, there's a lock. If you hold it for two seconds, it locks the door. I'm sorry, not the door, but yeah, it locks the door functions as far as being able to push any buttons. So if I hold it, hopefully you heard that beep. And then now, no matter what I push, it's all locked. It doesn't change any of the settings on here. If you hold it again for two seconds, it beeps again and lets you know that the touch controls can now be modified. So going next over, you can temperature down, temperature up, and I keep it 30 degrees. Um, there's a really cool function that I'll get to in just a second on this that I didn't realize, you, you may have just heard it beep, it's confirming the temperature that I just set it at. There's a really cool feature about this that I really love and I learned something new about storing beer in a refrigerator because of this unit. So. If we come over here next, there's the turbo button, and I'll say what that does in just a second here, but then there's the party and it says six hours. So if you push this, you'll notice that the temperature right there changed to 23 degrees. This has a setting on it that if you're having people over, backyard barbecue, whatever it may be, and the door's gonna be open and closed and open and closed a ton, it actually turbo cools off the entire unit and will bring it down to 23 degrees and keep it there uh, for that whole six hour period so that opening the door isn't going to take away from, well, frankly, the cold air that's inside it. So if I push that again and turn it off, then there's this, it says turbo one hour and it's got a snowflake logo on it. You'll see that again, it takes it to 23 degrees on here on the readout on the display. And what this does is if you're putting, you just come home from the store and you've got buddies coming over in an hour, you take the beer that you just got at the store, you load it up in here, hopefully it's Stone Brewing Company beer, um, which is really good. As you can see, I've got some in here. But you load it up in here, you hit that turbo button, in an hour, it's going to chill your beer down to a nice, icy, chilled temperature for you to enjoy. So I've got that pushed and you can see it went down to 23 degrees. Now I can try and adjust and do this, you know, and all those different things. So let's go up to 33 degrees there. So it's gonna show that I selected 33, but as we look at it there, it still shows 23 because it's in turbo mode. So no matter what temperature you set this at for that one hour turbo session, it keeps it at that 23 degrees, which does not freeze your beer. It just makes it nice and frosty, frosty cold. So let me open up the door here and show you what you get when you open the door. 
So inside here, I've removed this top shelf just so you can see in here for the purpose of this video. It comes with one, two, three, um, technically four shelves, and one of them is a half shelf so that you can put um, long neck bottles, whatever it may be, slide it back in there and have plenty of room to support it uh, or to stack cans on the front and the back down on the bottom shelf. This thing holds 125 cans from the bottom all the way up stacked using every single shelf. It's fantastic with that capacity. But as you can see, I've got some stone brewing beers in here. You can see right back there, that's the fan that's going right there. It is actually spinning um, and going through and it just slowed down because it had the door open. But if I close this, and you'll see there's a little bit of fog built up on the door. So if I close this, I don't know if you could pick up that sound, but you can hear it sort of boosting up to cool everything down really quickly because it's in that turbo mode. And look how quickly that door defogs itself. Very, very quickly, boom, it's already clear. That was what, maybe 10, 12 seconds? So despite the fact that you have a fogged up you know, door, it goes away very quickly. So I'm gonna open it up again and show you in here. The fan did turn itself off. You'll see that it's spinning right up here and it is slowing down. So I've got a few different choice selections from Stone Brewing, because obviously this is the collaboration between New Air and Stone Brewing, so you gotta rep the Stone Brewing beers. So I've got a few of the Arrogant Bastard Ale, and then I picked up one of their sampler packs, and it's got the Hazy IPA, the Stone IPA, uh, it's got the Stone FML, which stands for Fear Movie Lions, it's a Hazy Double IPA, and then they have their Delicious IPA as well. So I've got it loaded with some of their Stone Brewing beers. In fact, you know what? Let's open one up. And as you can see, the door's fogged up again. And now it's gonna instantly, almost instantly, I'll turn the light on so you can see how quickly that goes away. And it's just boop, and it is gone. So let me talk about some of the, um, some of the positives of this unit. One, I love the turbo feature on it. I love the fact, and I tested it today intentionally. I took a few of these beers out and just you know let them sit out on the counter for about 45 minutes. So they were not quite room temperature, but they were definitely not chilled. And went and put them in, and sure enough, an hour later with that turbo button, they were frosty cold, delicious, and ready to go. And so I love that turbo mode. I also love the party mode because I know we've had people over here, I've been in different places where you're in and out of the fridge, whether it's a patio fridge, inside the house, whatever it is, and after the door opens and closes and opens and closes, you can just tell that the temperature inside that fridge is not where it should be. Well, with this quick boost, the turbo boost and the six hour party hold setting on it, you never have to worry about that. And when I was down at Stone Brewing and I was looking at this unit, and uh, talking with some of the staff from New Air, uh, they, they showed me that feature and I just thought, no, nah, you gotta be kidding. And I literally stood there and opened and closed and opened and closed and opened and closed, you know, for probably three or four minutes, let people come up and look at it, closed it, and they're like, what are you doing? And I was like, I'm testing, I wanna see, does this thing really cool it off? And sure enough, every time you hear the fan, you know, power up, it goes and it just cools it right off which I was really impressed with. So that's fantastic. I do love also how it's got the Stone Brewing lettering right there. Let me turn the light off so you can see it again. Stone Brewing right there. The sides on both sides of it, it has the Arrogant Bastard Ale, hence why I figured I would drink the Arrogant Bastard Ale. So there you go right there, you can see that. Arrogant Bastard Ale. And it's basically this logo from the can on the side. Really, really cool looking. It's not like just a logo, it's a full side. Um, view of it, I mean, it covers the whole thing. Uh, the top is nice because it is, um, it's not like super shiny where it's gonna show scratches or, you know, nicks or, you know, anything like that at all. It's just a nice hardened plastic that has some grooves on it, which actually works really well. As you can see, I put my remote control on it. But with my ashtray that I have here, I know it's not gonna slide, it actually, will stop against the edge, it won't go too far forward, and there's some little grooves around the edge, which is nice because you can set down your beer and not have to worry about, oh, is it gonna slide and fall off, you know, because there are so many fridges out there where, 
you set it on top and there's nothing to stop it from sliding off or sliding away um, with the condensation that builds up. So I really like that feature of the top of it as well. But I gotta tell you, my, my favorite thing about it, uh, there's two things. One, I love the design of this thing. I absolutely love it. But I, I love the fact that the light is clear and visible and can be seen on any single shelf that you put your beer on or whatever beverage you wanna keep cold. Um, I had some buddies over uh, last night and you know they were in here in the studio and they checked it out. They're like, man, that thing's really cool. And so I showed them a couple of the features and they're like, I did not know that the turbo feature even existed on a fridge or I didn't know, you know, that the glass, because you go to the grocery store, you open the door and you close it and you know, it's fogged up for the next like two or three minutes. So there are some really intentional aspects of this unit that make it stand out amongst other, you know, beer fridges, refrigerators that are out there. And when I was down at the event uh, down in uh, Southern California near San Diego, um, you know, I, I really took some time and, and looked at the products and checked out what they had to offer. So it wasn't just, a, oh, I'm here, yay, you know, have fun kind of thing. But I wanted to really see which products, like what features, you know, they had, what specific items, you know, where did they cater to? And I gotta tell you, New Air, and I know they make absolutely phenomenal humidors, um, but this fridge is absolutely dynamite. It is fantastic and I don't have to worry about anything. It doesn't suck a ton of energy or power. So when I'm in here and you know watching a show or whatever, maybe you watching a movie, you know, when the compressor kicks on, the lights don't dim, it's not a big power energy sucker. Cause you know, out here in my studio, um, I've got extension cords powering it cause it's just simple and easy that way. I don't have to worry about lights, you know, flashing, dimming, nothing like that at all. So this is a really, really good unit. And I, I have so far really enjoyed getting to test this out. So here's what I want to do. There's going to be a link down below where you can go and check this out for yourself, where you can actually save some money as well. So there's a discount code and a link down below in the description. If you are looking for a refrigerator to keep your beer nice and frosty cold, then I highly encourage you to check this out. They have a couple different sizes. They have this 125 count. They've got another one um, that again is branded for Stone Brewing. Uh, they have lots to choose from, but I would encourage you if you're in the market for a refrigerator, specifically for keeping your beer or seltzers or water bottles or whatever it is nice and cold, you really should check out New Air. Um, I wanna thank the entire team from New Air that I got to meet in person and hang out with and get to know um, at the event for sending this out to me and for wanting me to share my experience with it. But I mean, you all know by now, I, I don't just say things to say things. I'm honest about it. I'll critique it, I'll criticize all those different things. Um, the only downside about this unit is it's not very light, but that's okay because it's a solid built refrigerator. Um, and there really, other than that, is no downside. Yeah, the door only, you know, opens on one side, but I mean, right up here, there's a groove. I don't know if you can see it right there with the lighting, there's a groove, so your hand goes right into it to open it. Um, but the only downside, honestly, is how heavy it is. And here in the studio, it's perfect. It sits in the middle here between both of my chairs, and I use it to rest my ashtray on, I'll set my drinks on it, all those different things. So um, it's a phenomenal unit. So go down below in the description, of this video, click the link, check it out for yourself and make sure you use the promo code that is down there so that you can save yourself some money. But thank you to everybody from New Air for having me down at the event, giving me a chance to meet all of you, for sending me this unit and wanting my honest feedback on it. So this isn't cigar related, but this absolutely has to do with what many cigar enthusiasts um, enjoy and that's a cold beverage, whether it's a beer, whether it's a chilled wine, whatever it is, and New Air does have a really, really cool new line of wine fridges um, that are out. And when I saw them at the uh, event, honestly, I thought I need to get one for my house here. My wife likes white wines and it would be perfect for her. So they've got a phenomenal unit uh, and new line coming out for that as well. But cigar enthusiasts enjoy a cold beverage. You know, whether you wanna keep your whiskeys or bourbons or whatever it is in here to keep them nice and cold, whatever you wanna do. Um, a refrigerator is a necessity when it comes to coming to your man cave, your she shed, whatever it is, and enjoying a nice cold beverage. 
But that's gonna do it for this video. Again, go and check it out. Leave some comments down below if you're curious. If you have any questions, I'd love to answer any questions that I can down in the comments below. But that's gonna do it for this video. Enjoy your cigar and frosted beer journey. I'm Cigar Show Tim, as always. I'll see you.